This episode's FDR shoutout goes to the Goldfish King. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up, Chris? It's Guys here. Welcome back to another fish tank review. <laughs> the cat is the cat. Uh, Rapashi is straight up mooning, you guys. Look at that beautiful tail, though. Oh, yeah. Look at how it curls and grabs onto my finger. No cap, I got this fish four years ago at a county fair. He really do be vibin' though. Okay, let's play that back. Oh yeah, it's got everything. SpongeBob, SpongeBob's house. Can't go wrong with that, right? Blue colored gravel, so Fruity Pebbles blue version is the blueberry flavor. And of course it's in a half moon 3.5 gallon for a single tail goldfish, which should have a pond and not even filled up all the way to the brim, just left at 75% filled. The other 75% is the gravel underneath. Rapashi pooped. Wow, that's a big poop. All right, Pashi, come with me. No, 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 not. Don't go. No. I'm sorry, guys. Excuse you, Rapashi. What's going on here? You've never pooped on the mic like that. At least we know you're healthy. Boink, boink. I guess that was Rapashi's response to this tank. No cap. I think it's crap. Now, Rapashi here is a curious, amazing, <laughs> fantastic creature. Fantastic critter. And there's a lot to learn about this little fella and many different awesome creatures like Rapashi. And one of the best places to learn about this and be completely entertained throughout Curiosity Stream. I don't think I'm the only one who binge Netflix or Amazon Prime and then just, you know, after the shows, I'm like, what did I actually learn? Nothing. I think nowadays it's time to switch it up and watch some of these amazing documentaries. Today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream, has thousands of streamable documentaries and non-fiction TV shows shows on topics like history, nature, science, food, technology, travel, and more. You already know your boy's heading up the nature documentaries and maybe some dinosaurs and space documentaries as well. You can stream to any device at any time, anywhere. I'm also super excited for their brand new documentary, Duck to the Rescue. As we all know, there are increasing numbers of natural disasters during the recent years. From the front lines of the Australian bushfires to coastal towns leveled by hurricanes, drone pilot Doug Thrawn uses next-gen technology outfitted specifically for his unique mission to rescue wildlife stranded in the aftermath of a natural disaster. I'm already getting chills from this, and uh, if you're a big softy, better bring a box of Kleenex. So, uh, Netflix and chill, huh? Nah, man, it's 2021. Dream with curiosity stream. <laughs> but I'm not a rapper. Why is it always Facebook Marketplace? Aquarium with working light and filter right off the bat. This tank, 25 bucks is, is a good amount for this tank, I feel like. It's it's not a bad deal, it's not a great deal, it's a pretty balanced deal. What I'm not down for, by far, is the severely overloaded fish tank, overstocked with so many goldfish. I don't even, how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like 12 goldfish in there, and Facebook Marketplace doesn't really allow the sale of fish, so uh, how, where are you gonna put these goldfish? Are you gonna just flush them down the drain, cause one day you wake up and you don't feel like keeping your fish tank anymore? Didn't see this one coming. Fish owner that didn't do much research suddenly stops caring for their fish? No way. What happens next will not shock you. They're going down the toilet. I think this belongs on here. Okay, I would scroll down to the comments and it said it's in a restaurant. The comments said it too, but like, what are you trying to achieve here? Hi, can I get a side of salmonella with my French toast? That is the least sanitary thing you can think of, basically. A fish seems innocent enough. The water is clear, so it must be clean, right? It must be great for to put in a restaurant. There's definitely not going to be teeming with bacteria bacteria and salmonella and cholera and whatever the heck else you can think of in that water. One of these fish will produce a massive amount of waste. I've had salmonella before and it's not pretty, it's not fun. We don't have to go into that. A restaurant is supposed to be the cleanest place you go. No, no, no. Oftentimes it's not like that. I'm just starting to realize. Ah, gross. Pets course submission by Alexandra Petes. Beautiful. This is one of those fluvo spec tanks if I'm not wrong. Whoops, I'm filming this a little late in the day, so the lights have went out, unfortunately. We'll keep it that way because I don't want an algae bloom. No thank you. And looks like Alexandra doesn't want an algae bloom either because there's hardly any algae that I could see. It's a great balanced scape. We got Anubius Nana, we got moss on the wood, we got some Ludwigia, we got some carpeting action. 4.25 out of 5, keep it up. And her beautiful little betta fish. And we got some saucer tang in the back, or maybe Pelia moss. Really hard to tell the difference. Not acaristic, but please remember to give plenty of water to your jalapenos. I'm glad. <laughs> 
This is, <laughs> and for those of you who aren't wearing your glasses and can't see this very well, that is a hummingbird, not a jalapeno. <laughs> I'm glad you gave your jalapeno some water. That is true though, you don't want your jalapenos to be dehydrated. Pest course submission by Carolyn Donnelly. First thing that pops out at me is the Hydrocado uh, Leucosophala. We got nice hardscape. The dark spots actually add a lot of dimension into the scape. This might be covered uh, in the back by some black paint or a black cloth. It also looks pretty understocked. Kudos. 4.4 4 out of 5, keep it up. Fish abuse caught on It's Me or the Dog. I can't believe there's a show called It's Me or the Dog. How can that have more than one or two episodes? <laughs> Who watches that consecutive? So they have a bed of fish in the back in a little vase, little wine cup with some pothos on it. Frankly, uh, yeah, it's the dog. I don't even know what the dog looks like and I'm choosing the dog. And I'll choose the fish too before I choose you. Actually, you can't pay me enough to choose you. Someone who puts their bed of fish in that kind of condition? Yeah, no thanks. Zero out of five for attractiveness. Pest course submission by Kobe Bastion. What a cool name, Kobe Bastion. And what a cool fish tank. Except it's not a fish tank at all. It's an axolotl tank. Look at their cute, <laughs> look at these cute little axolotls. They're so chubby. They're dummy thick. Wow, they do be thick though. This is a planted tank for an axolotl. You don't see that every day. Hopefully you're doing everything right because I know that there's some iffy things with axolotls when it comes to substrate and even just the decoration. You don't want anything to be too sharp and you don't want the substrate to be loose. But I feel like that's sand. I'm not sure. Axolotl experts, let me know if this tank's all right. It's not bad. Four out of five. Keep it up, Kobe. Hope your axolotls are doing fine. My fake plants died because I did not pretend to water them. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, this is Jimmy Gimbo. He, uh, I think he works for Corey from Aquarium Co-op and uh, he, he's like their main cameraman, I think. And, and he also has his own YouTube channel. He also has uh, an outdoors YouTube channel. He's just really good at photography and videography. He also has his own fish tanks and they're beautiful as well. And of course, this is a comment he made during a live stream from what I have experienced in live streams from Aquarium Co-op and other live streams that he is on. He's always got the best one-liners in the game. Never a dull moment with this guy. He's also got a really cool Instagram uh, and he shows off his cool white truck and he takes it to these beautiful destinations. So check it out. The bonus secret comment of this episode is Crown Tail. Rupashi, you doing all right there? <laughs> Doing a vertical chill. Didn't know the koi fish was a coral reef fish. Lucky, beautiful coral reef fish. <laughs> My favorite saltwater fish. What a rare sight. Someone actually correctly names a fish. Yo, you guys are so sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> on pets cord you must take after someone equally as sarcastic and cool right and amazing and very handsome right that's pa we may be in sure all right uh you guys know what this means you've been asking me to do salt water but i think i already have salt water at home man <laughs> mom can we have salt water mom we have salt water at home salt water at home <laughs> i'm in the salt water gang yo accept me with open arms give me hug give me hug oh right now no what do you mean what do you mean I'm disqualified? That's bullying. This is bullying. Stop bullying me. We were pink because of you. Just sad, man. Why is it that he is weak in eating? Please help. Man, two things I hate in this world. Fish abuse and this question. <laughs> I guess I should elaborate. Uh, this question as in people who ask like this. You got a fish tank photo of your really bad fish tank. You got a, oh my gosh, a red tail, two other cichlids and a barb. They all get massive, by the way. And it's just like this arbitrary photo of this crappy fish tank condition. And so you're asking, why is it that he is weak in eating? Who is he? Okay, there are four fish in this photo. So which one? He is weak in eating. What does weak in eating mean? Does he have poor appetite? I'm guessing poor appetite. So not really, not, not strong in eating, I guess. Please help. It would help us help you if you gave more water parameters. This could be a billion things, literally a billion. But I mean, before we even get to the water parameters, maybe do some research. Pest course submission by Eric Gesiewski. I did my best. Eric's tank looking like it's popping off. Look at that. You got some breeding action going on for sure. Got a nice breeder-esque feeling tank over here. I like the little leaf on the bottom. It's kind of like botanicals, making things more natural looking. The big swords, they're nice. You got levels to them. You got a big sword and you got a small short sword and you got wisteria. Might be lacking a bit of hardscape, but hey, it does have that natural feel. 4.3 out of 5. And look at that. We got a little quarry gang down in the bottom on the substrate. Keep it up, Eric. I just discovered this sub and I I must ask you this question. I saw this in Cape Town's aquarium two years ago. Is it viable or totally effed up? I can, for one, say I've never seen anything like this. I don't keep clownfish and I don't know clownfish behavior, but 
doesn't it just look like a pile of dead clownfish or is it just me i did check out the comments there were some more technical sort of explanations uh not going to get into it too much but basically tldr this is a behavior that the clownfish do which is to like pile together to feel some kind of security or comfort uh it might be caused by bad water conditions but it's not horrible for the fish it's not fatal they're all alive thank goodness if that's true although it is a behavior it's not natural behavior or it's not like 100 percent healthy behavior which i would imagine so this doesn't look healthy you can ask anyone who probably never even seen a clownfish before and ask them is this natural healthy behavior and they probably would say no so again the common sense coming into play here cape town do something about this thanks that's course submission by mark 10 to 20 gallon you got the rockscape you got the woodscape you got some moths going on the wood oko stones and a little path in the front i don't see any stocking could be a single bed of tank could be some shrimps maybe some really low stocking really small dither fish love the textures of the plants great job mark 4.25 out of 5 keep it up this is the reason why i constantly try and tell people how to properly do research about fish so hopefully they won't end up with something like this ever hey same dude we got the same job fist bump bro fist PewDiePie. they're just showing off their bad life choices for their fish at this point you got a separated container by the way that container is too small by itself just with one bed of fish but they they separated it and put two bed of fish and then they put another bed of fish beside it that looks looks to be the original cup they got from like PetSmart or something. I'm pretty sure PetSmart has bigger cups than that now. So they took the PetSmart cup and threw that away and then found something smaller than that and then put their fish in it put the lid on it too and hopefully there's air pockets but i mean hopefully you upgrade sir guys welcome to the end of the video hope your monday is going just right and hopefully this video helped your monday go just a little bit better thank you for sticking around and watching all the way till the end for to push that algorithm to space to the moon baby and rightfully so because the secret comment of this episode is half moon look out for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video again please go down to the description go down to the comments consider checking out curiosity stream i'm sure a lot of you already have it or already heard about it but it is one of the best streaming services out there so yeah make sure to use the ff thought code and just get one whole year subscription for very very little money if you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and subscribe there'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet tetra 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 we in a spot coming in hot ventral fin die acclimate that with my shoal at cure my fin rot from caraciformes to parenchyma hold on hold on there's not another fish that you can wish for live famsas I finna one, I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.